please join me for another episode of Peace on the Mat. You will need a block um, to get ready for this uh, practice and we will jump on in and do some yoga. So I want everyone to come to a simple seated, but we are actually going to place the block just under the sits bones in a simple seated position so that your thighs are in a nice relaxed position. We're gonna begin to soften in areas that we feel tension um, things that this holiday maybe brought on that we weren't even expecting. So we're gonna drop those shoulders down and back. We're gonna close our eyes. Hands softly resting on the knees. And as you begin to be to become aware of you and what you mean, we can move towards the breath. The inhale and exhale. Coming to our intention this evening, sometimes God uses the best of your deepest pain. Your greatest ministry will come out of your deepest pain. This comes from uh, Pastor Rick Warren. Many of you may be familiar with him, um, but it says in 2 Corinthians 1, 4 through 5, that God comforts all of us in our troubles so that we can comfort others. When they are troubled, we will be able to give them the same comfort God has given us. For the more we suffer for Christ, the more God will shower us with his comfort through Christ course more to come on that as we practice. So we'll gently open our eyes. If you've kind of shrunk down a little bit, straighten that spine back up, lifting the top of your head towards the heavens. Good. We're going to give ourselves a big bear hug. Because of this season of COVID, I feel like we can't hug and touch is such an important part of all of our lives. So we're gonna give ourselves a big, deep bear hug, reaching those fingertips around the shoulders, grabbing on, holding on tight, big bear hug, good. And then we're gonna let that one go, set the hands back to the thighs, and then we're gonna reach our opposite hand and our opposite elbow. So for me, that's gonna be my left arm under and my right arm over. And again, a big bear hug. This time while we're in our bear hug, we're gonna place our left ear, or excuse me, right ear to the right shoulder. Good. And then look down in this pose, feeling that big stretch in between the shoulder blades, which is where a lot of us carry tension and stress. Good, and then move the left shoulder, or left ear to the left shoulder. Very 
very nice and then move your head so that it's in a back position just a nice gentle neck bend don't hyper extend the neck just enough to create a nice stretch good bring your head back to neutral and we'll place those hands back to the knees we're going to rotate our bodies around now in a circular motion so however that feels comfortable for you you can start in a counterclockwise or clockwise whichever feels comfortable i like to start in a clockwise position so moving to the left and then to the right and when you move to the back you're going to curl that back down and then coming around to the front again so a nice little move there nice and gentle opening up those hips and along with the low spine good and just moving the center of our bodies all along the edge of that block good wherever you are stop there we're going to rotate to the opposite direction so now counterclockwise moving and how it feels good if a little faster feels good for you tonight if a little slower feels good to you tonight please undergo what your body is asking for after this holiday season and quickly approaching the next season as you can see i've got some decorations up for christmas already maybe those of you who are at home are decorating as well. It feels a little nostalgic this year, uh, given everything that our country's going through. All right, we're gonna take a deep breath in, arms up overhead, bring those palms together, and bring on through to heart center. Good, big deep breath in, arms up overhead, bringing those palms together, and bringing them back down heart center. One last time, bring those arms up, 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 reaching towards the heavens, bringing those palms together and down through, through heart center. Okay, we're going to remove those blocks. So you can come off that block, set it to the side. We're going to come down onto the full bum, onto those sits bones. Good. We're going to do a few shoulder curls here rotating those shoulders up and back and then we're going to rotate them in a forward position bringing them forward nice big circle good and stop there and then we're going to move into all fours so coming to uh, the knees under the hips wrist under elbows elbows under shoulders rotating those arms in so that the two lines are looking at each other and we're going to move into some cat cow so tilt the hips up bring the head up looking forward opening up the chest dropping the belly down we're going to do that as we inhale as we exhale we're going to curl the tailbone under pressing the shoulders towards the heavens Awesome, and then we're gonna flow that just a few times here at your own breath pace. Inhaling on cat, exhaling on cow. Moving through what feels good. Good. And then we're gonna come back to our bum to the heels, hands forward. For a quick child's pose we're going to move our hands towards the right side of the mat really feeling that left side body stretch along the latissimus and along the hips good and slowly army crawl back to center and then we're going to rotate to the left side of the mat really opening up that right side 
feeling the tension of those hips, hopefully leaving. Good. Doesn't that feel so yummy? Good. Okay, an army crawl back to center. We're gonna come back to all fours. We're gonna curl those toes, moving into our first downward facing dog. Um, you'll hear me say it throughout most of my videos to press those hips back towards the wall behind you. And that is so that we don't dump into those wrists. Uh, it's important not to do that because when we do a downward facing dog that doesn't look like a downward facing dog, our wrists get tired. They should not be tired. Our back muscles should be doing most of this work. So pressing those hips back towards the wall behind you. Because this is our first hamstring stretch, we're gonna pedal the feet here just a few times, just to warm those up. And then we'll move towards our sun salutation. So looking to the top of the mat, walking to the top, forward folding it out, Good, and just let that forward fold hang. Upper half of the body reaching towards the mat, feeling rooted in both feet. Good, and then one vertebrae at a time, letting those arms dangle. We're gonna move towards coming to the top of the mat Good. And then bring the hands all the way up. Bring them together at the top. And then exhale, forward fold it out. Inhale, halfway lift. So extending that spine nice and straight. Gaze out in front. Good. And then exhale, forward fold it out. We're going to extend both feet back into that plank pose, moving through our chaturanga vinyasa. So into a chaturanga push-up, coming into up dog. Good. And then curling those toes, uncurling those toes, and moving back to downward facing dog. We're gonna do that a couple of more times here. So getting a feel and rhythm for the, for the flow. Look to the top of the mat. Walk to the front, forward fold it out. Again, just letting everything hang towards the mat, towards the earth, the earth which supports us, supports our body, supports our nutrition. There's a lot of things the earth does for us. So it's important for us to Give thanks back to that. Okay, and again, moving up one vertebrae at a time up to a standing pose. And then take a nice inhale, bringing both hands up to the heavens, bring those palms together, and then exhale forward, fold it out. Again, just a nice, gentle forward fold. Letting everything hang loosey-goosey. I should know better than to wear <laughs> hooded hoodies or hooded yoga shirts <laughs> while filming. All right, and forward fold it out. We're gonna take a nice inhale in, halfway lift, making that spine nice and straight. Neck extended. Good, exhale, hands to the mat. We're gonna move towards that chaturanga, coming into our plank, moving through chaturanga. Push up and up dog. Awesome. And then uncurl those toes and move back to a downward facing dog. Good, we're gonna come down to our knees, bum to the heels for a short, Child's pose, we won't stay here long. A couple of breaths. A 
I know we just came out of a season of holiday with Thanksgiving, um, but I know that there's still so much more that we um, can be thankful for um, if we just think about it. Um, tonight, I wanna give a shout out to my hubby. <laughs> I'm very thankful to him for um, just being a part of our family. He uh, rocks. Um, he's a pretty good guy. And um, I'm glad that he can be a part of all of um, that my life journey has taken me so far with him. So with that said, we'll come back up to all fours. We're going to come back into our downward facing dog. We're going to extend that right leg back nice and straight. We're going to bring it on through. Place that right foot on the mat. Place that left knee on the mat. Good. Place your right left hand inside the right foot and we're going to curl up with our right hand into a nice spinal twist up to the heavens good and then we'll bring that hand back to the mat we're going to rotate that heel foot the right foot out to the outer edge of the mat we're gonna extend that left leg back just a, a smidge. I made just a small adjustment. Uh, we're gonna move into lizard pose. If it's okay, your hands can stay up or if you feel like you'd like to take it deeper for those hips, you can come down onto those forearms. Getting in some good hip openers um, this evening. Uh, it's important. Um, our hips are two of our biggest joints in our body. So important to release the stress that is often carried by them. All right, come up onto those hands, or if you're already at your hands, go ahead and heel toe that uh, right foot to the middle of the mat. We're gonna come up onto the left foot we're gonna blade that foot down and we're gonna come up into warrior one. Good. Awesome, keeping those hips pointed forwards towards the wall in front of you. Arms up for a deep warrior one. Don't let that knee come forward of the ankle as it can be too strenuous on that ankle joint. Good, we're gonna place the left forearm to the left thigh, left hand up to the heavens. Good, and then we're gonna take both hands to either side of the right foot. We're gonna come back in the same way we came out into downward facing dog. Bringing that right foot back to meet the left is all that we're doing. And then we're gonna extend that left leg back. Bring it on through. Bring that right foot down, uncurl the toes. Extending that uh, right leg back just a bit. We're gonna place the right hand inside the left foot and then place that left arm up towards the heavens. Getting a nice spinal twist as well as hip opener. This is also great for balance, which we all need a little in our life, is balance. Good. And then place that left hand back down on the mat. We're gonna heel toe that left foot to the outer edge of the left side of the mat. If this is good for you, please stay here. If you would like to take your practice further or if you would like to try to go going deeper, you can bring those forearms down to the mat. You can also use your block if you need to uh, for supportive assistance as well. Good. Awesome. And then we'll come back up onto those hands if you're already there. Go ahead and heel toe that left foot to the middle of the mat. <clears throat> We're gonna come up off that right leg Blading that right foot down, coming up into a warrior one. 
on the left. Again, be careful of that left knee going forward. Good, place that left forearm to the left thigh, raising that right arm up. Good, and then bring that right hand to the other side, actually both hands to either side of the left foot. And then we're gonna bring that left foot back to meet the right in a downward facing dog. Believe it or not, this is a resting pose. So we are gonna be in downward facing dog for a couple of breaths here. Taking in a nice inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Good, letting all that air out. And then coming to a nice fresh inhale and a nice long exhale. Emptying those lungs out. Good. We're gonna take a step just to the middle of the mat. Not all the way to the top, just the middle. And we're gonna forward fold it out here. Good. We're gonna extend that left foot back we're gonna rotate the right foot so that both toes are pointed towards the long edge of the mat. We're gonna do a nice forward fold here. Good, and then we're gonna come down onto the right foot, extending that left leg out straight toes pointed towards the heavens. This is a good one for balance. And I don't always get it right either. But we're gonna work on it together. If you find a spot, kind of just a couple of feet in front of your mat and really focus on that little spot, you can usually get that balance to come into focus. Good, place those hands down. That's a really hard one. And we will come back to um, a, open a forward fold. Awesome. We're gonna come down onto that left foot. Our right foot extended out, toes pointed towards the heavens. Again, we're gonna come into that Balancing act on the left. I'm a little less balancing on the left than I am the right. So I'm working towards it, just like you. So let's see if we can do it together. Again, when you focus on that one little thing just in front of you, keeping that spine nice and straight as well. Awesome, place both hands down. Place that right foot back to the mat. Come on up one more time. We're gonna open a forward fold. If you would like to utilize the block to place your forehead, it is a nice assistive device when and if you need it. Otherwise, just forward fold where you can. Good. We're going to point our right toe towards the front of the mat. We're going to come down onto that left knee. We're going to four square the right leg, moving towards pigeon now. So placing the shin behind the hands, extending that left leg out behind, and then coming into your expression of pigeon. So if you'd like to utilize the block for a head balance to get you down there, that's fine. You can even come up this way. Um, or if you're wanting to advance your practice, you can lay all the way forward.
just a couple of more breaths here. Good. Okay, come up onto those hands. We're gonna rotate that right leg forward so that we're back, basically back to all fours. I want you to extend that right leg back placing the toes on the mat and then reaching that heel back into the mat, reaching back with that heel, just stretching out that big hip stretch that we just gave that right side. And God created two sides. So we get to move towards pigeon on the left. So we'll bring our right leg back to meet our left we're gonna place that left shin behind our hands. We're gonna move that right leg back just a bit. We're gonna come down onto the forearms or utilizing the block. We can utilize that for our arms as well, not just our head. If you'd like to come down and place your head on your fists, that's also a possibility or all the way down into full expression of pigeon. Again, we'll be here for a few breaths. So make sure you hold the pose and not hold your breath. I remember when I started in yoga, I was good at holding my breath and not breathing through the pose. So asana is the practice of, priyana is the breath, and they really go together in yoga. It's difficult to do one without the other. Good. And then we'll come on up onto our hands. We'll rotate the right leg forward, the left leg we're gonna extend straight back, placing the toes on the mat, reaching that heel towards the earth, just stretching out that big hip stretch that we just did on the left. Good. Coming back to all fours, we're gonna extend both legs back. We're gonna come down onto the belly Placing our hands uh, just on the forearms, about the chin level. And we're gonna come up just for a baby cobra, working that low back a little bit. Good, and then come on down. And then we're gonna place our hands back behind us, resting at our sides with the palms up, facing the heavens. And on the count of three, we're going to lift our head, our hands, and our feet all at the same time. So one, two, and three, and then all three up. Really feeling that stretch along the low back. Engaging the glutes, engaging the quads, reaching those fingertips back, really opening up that chest. Good and then place that one down, bringing the hands back to palm down, hands about the chin level. We'll take a couple of breaths here. Good. And then we're gonna press off the um, tops of our feet and we're gonna come into full upward, or full cobra. So arms extended. Feeling length in the spine. Feeling the abdominals engage and the low back stretch. Good. And then press back into a child's pose. Bum to the heels.
Good. We're going to come up to all fours. We're going to come down onto the bum. We're going to extend those feet straight out in front with the toes pointed towards the heavens. Big deep breath in, arms up overhead, reaching towards the heavens. And then as you exhale, forward fold over both of those feet. All right, we're gaining some length. So our practice is working. Good, take a nice quick inhale. And as you exhale, fall deeper into the fold. and then come back up to neutral. We're gonna scooch our bum towards the heels. We're gonna roll back onto our backs. We are gonna bring both knees into the chest for a wide knees to the chest. Good. This feels so yummy after a nice hip opener, doesn't it? All right, take your first two fingers, so number one and number two, wrap them around your big toe for a little happy baby. Aww. So rotating these feet around. Also maneuvering the low back, kind of rocking back and forth with that. Just finding space in that tension that we just let go. Feels so good. All right, let that go one last time. Bring those knees into the chest. Good. Place those feet flat to the mat. We're going to extend our feet out long. Place one hand on your chest and one hand on your abdomen. and begin to soften where you still continue to feel tension. Soften the facial muscles. Tuck the shoulders down and under the spine. Feeling those legs become heavy to the earth. Finally closing the eyes, letting the tongue come off the roof of your mouth. I'm a firm believer in leaving your junk right here on the mat. That's why it's called peace on the mat. Because I want you to walk away feeling invigorated, peaceful, joyful, kind. And when we carry around our junk, it's so hard to be those things, joyful, thoughtful. I struggle too, friend. That's why I'm right here on the mat with you. We'll settle into our Shavasana here.
when you're going through pain, you can choose to focus on yourself or on other people. When you choose to focus on serving other hurting people, that's called redemptive suffering. It is the highest and best use of your pain. No matter what pain you've gone through, Jesus wants to redeem your suffering. He doesn't want it to be wasted. He wants to use it to help other people when they are in pain. 1 Corinthians 4 through 5 again says, God comforts us in all of our troubles so that we can comfort others. Strength only does come from him. When they are troubled, we will be able to give them the same comfort God has given us. For the more we suffer for Christ, the more God will shower us with his comfort through Christ. Who is better qualified to help a struggling veteran than somebody who's been a struggling veteran? Veteran, can I get an amen? I guess I'm really qualified. Who's better qualified to help someone recovering than somebody who has recovered? Who could better help someone who is suffering than someone who has suffered? Your greatest ministry will come out of your deepest pain. And a lot of times that struggle becomes your ministry. Sharing your pain helps you and the people around you grow in Christ. Using your pain to serve others is a form of ministry. Or as I usually like to say, being the hands and the feet of Jesus. Friends, thank you for practicing with me today. It was more of a joy and a blessing than you will ever know. I'm thankful for each and every one of you. I pray that you have just as much peace off the mat as you do on the mat. If you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.